You know, I always felt strange that God needed us to command us to love Him. The first and greatest commandment is, love the Lord your God. So, it kind of seems strange when we have free will, but yet God commands us to love Him. But when you really look at it, God calls us to love Him He isn't commanding us to love him. He's commanding us to love him as our first love. In context, that's really what he's saying. He's not saying that we have to love him. He says that we need to be his first love. We need to be his primary love. And not only because he deserves it and that he should hold that place in our hearts, but also because he knows the pain that's going to happen when we get that out of order. He knows the pain that it's going to cause in our lives. He knows the pain it's going to cause in the other relationships that we're with when we get that out of order. See, if you you give part of your heart, if you give part of your very soul to anything less than what it was meant for, you're setting yourself up to have your heart broken. Doesn't that make sense? Because nobody's ever going to be able to come through in the same way God comes through for you. He's the only one that will never leave you. He's the only one that will never forsake you. See, the command isn't a command that you have to love Him. The command is a command that's going to save you from disaster. It's just like the person standing out stopping traffic when there's an accident ahead they're like don't go this way the bridge is out don't go this way there's an accident and they're standing out there and they maybe are commanding but they're not commanding just to be demanding they're not commanding because they want to be in charge they're commanding to keep you from a disaster and that's what Jesus was saying the greatest commandment was And you know what? Really, when you have that greatest commandment in order and you love the Lord your God with all your heart, then all those other things fall into place. That's why he says all the law hinges on that. See, so many people have discovered that and once they found that when they put God first all those other things seem to just smooth out. It isn't that it's like glass smooth, but I'll tell you, you don't have as many potholes, you don't have as many detours, you don't have as many heartbreaks, you don't have as many lines to wait in. See, keeping God our first love is not going to ever destroy us and it's never going to destroy our relationships with others. It's going to increase our relationship with others. It's going to increase our intimacy with others. It's going to increase the the mutual love. Is that when when we get that right, when we do that, we're not going to be destroyed by when others fail to love us well. Because you got to admit, there are people that do very bad things to you and hurt you in different ways, but it isn't necessarily they hate you, they just don't know how to love you well. And sometimes they're doing the best they can, or sometimes they just do stupid things and they think they're only hurting themselves, so they're not looking at the ramifications of how it's going to spill out on everybody else. But the reality is, is that what they do harms us, Right? Whether it's intentional or unintentional, we still suffer the damage. But see, when we have that first love right, then we're not going to be destroyed. Just a few weeks back, there was a young lady I was talking to that had broke up with her boyfriend and she was devastated. But you know what? She wasn't as devastated as she could have been. Why? Because she had loving parents that were right there to tell her, you know, this isn't the end of the world. <laughs> you know, we still love you. And there was, there was a love that caught her before she slammed into the concrete. 
before she hit rock bottom. That there was another love there. There was a whole other level of love that kept her from being totally destroyed. Yet, even though in her heart she was hurt, there was a whole other level of love there that was able to keep her perspective on things and actually able to bring it back around full circle and use what the enemy meant for evil for good.